we use a U shaped arm board to support both arms. However, you can use any type of arm rest. Do not leave space between the side arm and the table. Position the arm by the side of the patient so you can work in the same position as the femoral approach. Clean with betadine. Adduct the hand, supinate the forearm, hyperextend the wrist, elevate the table to adjust to your height. Use a 25 gauge needle, hold it nearly parallel to the skin, inject 0.5 to 1 ml of 1% lidocaine into the subcutaneous tissues along the line of proposed puncture. Do not puncture the radial artery because it may provoke a spasm or hematoma. Find the ideal site, 2 to 3 cm proximal from the crease in the wrist. Fix the radial artery with your index and middle fingers. Take some time to palpate the relatively straight course of the artery. Fill for maximal pulsation. Use a 45 mm 20 gauge Jalco sheath needle or the needle provided with the Terumo kit. Set the needle at an angle of 30 to 45 degrees. Advance the needle slowly with the bevel upward. Puncture in a continuous, controlled, slow motion. Look for blood in the hub of the needle. Use a 45 cm straight tip hydrophilic coated 25,000 inch terumo wire. Negotiate the wire through the needle's plastic cannula. Push gently. Do not push against any resistance. If there is resistance, perform a radial angiogram to identify the problem. Remove the plastic cannula. Use a scalpel with a number 11 surgical blade. Hold the knife parallel to the skin so there is a minimal angle between the skin and the knife. Make a 1 mm superficial skin incision. Select a 5 French sheath for angiography and a 6 French sheath for angioplasty. Preferably the coating should be hydrophilic. Advance the sheath over the guide wire. Gently rotate the sheath clock and counterclockwise with minimal force. Advance the sheath gradually in short segments. Remove the dilator and wire. Aspirate blood to neutralize pH. Inject an intra-arterial spasmolytic cocktail containing nitroglycerin, lidocaine and diltiazem. After you perform the procedure, apply the closure device and remove the sheath immediately. or remove the sheath and manually compress the puncture site. After the bleeding stops, apply gauze.